Hi everyone, I am Dr. Jessica Parker, and today I'm here to talk to you about how you can harness the power of generative AI, specifically ChatGPT, to help you write an abstract and generate keywords. Now, the way I'm going to use it today is based off of an already written manuscript. I'm going to have ChatGPT produce the abstract, and I'm going to compare it to the actual abstract that was written by humans. And what you're going to notice is that it is incredibly accurate. Uh, there are sometimes issues, which I'm going to go over when I give an introduction of ChatGPT in a moment. Um, but overall, I have found that it is incredibly useful. I'm using it for a wide range of applications from generating ideas for research questions. I'm also using it to help me as an educator for writing evaluation and feedback even producing more personalized learning material for my students. We're going to start by talking about what ChatGPT is, in case you've been living under a rock and you're not familiar with it. I'm then going to dive into my step-by-step -step process of showing you how to use ChatGPT to write an abstract and generate keywords. So let's start by talking about ChatGPT for a moment. So ChatGPT was developed by OpenAI. It is a large language model that has been trained on an extensive data set, and it can produce human-like content. Now, I'm sure you're aware of concerns around cheating and plagiarism. There are issues surrounding ChatGPT's use in academia. I am not promoting it to replace your knowledge and expertise. I am promoting its use to supplement your knowledge and expertise. It operates on prompt engineering which means that it only generates text that it has been prompted to generate. And the more specific you can be in your prompt, the more likely you will get the output you are looking for. But I think the beauty of ChatGPT lies in its ability to be creative and generate responses that are not only coherent, but original. And so I think it's a very valuable tool in the academic realm. However, it's not perfect. It can't access real-time information in its free model. However, in its paid model, it is connected to Bing, which is in beta testing mode, which I have found that model to be very, very useful and more accurate than the model, the, the free model, ChatGPT3, which is not connected to the internet. That model, the free model, is limited because its training uh, ended in 2021. So it does not have access to current events. That doesn't matter in this scenario. With the abstract, you don't need access to current events. Um, it can also occasionally produce nonsensical or incorrect answers. So it is imperative that you review the information provided within the abstract in this case, and you revise it and edit it as needed. Even if it does produce some incorrect information, I find that overall it is accurate because you are feeding it in, in my step-by-step -step guide, you'll be feeding it information from the manuscript you've written. So, we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process. We're going to start by turning off ChatGPT's chat history and training. This is in its data control feature, which is relatively new. I'm then going to show you how to uh, engineer a prompt and prompt ChatGPT to generate the abstract. I'm going to show you how you can just quickly copy and paste each section of your abstract into ChatGPT, then review and revise, and then you can ask ChatGPT to generate your keywords. All right, let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you. So this is the article we are going to use today. This is the abstract that was generated by the authors. So I'm using that as my benchmark, my sort of gold star. You want to first tell ChatGPT its role. In this case, you are a researcher writing an abstract for a manuscript. You then want to provide context. The manuscript discusses the application of ChatGPT and simplifying medical reports, specifically radiology reports. The study explores whether ChatGPT can be used to make these reports more accessible and understanding for patients. You're then going to tell ChatGPT what action you want it to take. Construct a 200 word abstract with the following headings, background, methods, results, and conclusion. And then this is the prompt all together. Let's go to step one. We are going to turn on ChatGPT's uh, data control feature. 
So I'm going to go to chat GPT. To do that, you go to the bottom, click settings, data controls. I'm going to turn off chat history and training. I'm going to close out of this. And now I'm simply going to copy and paste uh, the prompt that I wrote. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to enter that into chat GPT. Now I'm going to go to my Word document. And I'm going to copy and paste here. All right, let's take a moment to look at the result. As you can see, I have the abstract generated by ChatGPT here in the purple font, and then the human abstract uh, on the right-hand side in black. As you can see visually, I did break them out for you into the separate sections. Um, they are similar in length, and I did go ahead and review this uh, just for the purposes of this example. And the abstract generated by ChatGPT is well-written and it is correct. Now, does that mean you should just immediately take the output and submit it? No, you need to review and revise. ChatGPT does sometimes pull a random sentence from the introduction uh, or the background and include it as a background statement and it's not always accurate. It does also sometimes repeat information in the methods um, that is just not necessary to repeat and it's taking up precious uh, words in your word count. It also doesn't always get the word count correctly. When I first produced this, uh, it was over by 56 words and then I trimmed it down to 28 by 28 words. So sometimes there's, there's an iterative process here, but you can continue following up with prompts or you can just take it yourself into a Word document and start editing it on your own. Okay, let's do a quick review. First, you're going to turn off ChatGPT's chat and training history. This protects your original scholarship and make sure it's kept private. You're then going to enter your prompt. And make sure you follow my prompt engineering instructions. You're then going to copy and paste each section of your manuscript into ChatGPT. Then you're going to review and revise the output. I'm really curious to learn about your experiences using ChatGPT, so feel free to drop your comments below. Thanks.